Hello and welcome back. This is the Motley Reviewer, and this is going to be my review on Transformers Legacy Evolution Comic Universe Tarn. First things first, let's look at the packaging. You got this. Let's put the figure off to the side. You got this nice picture of his alt mode, his robot mode. And then you got your obligatory product shots, his Evo Fusion gimmick, nice tank, and robot, and the side of the packaging. So let's get to the figure now. He is Tarn from the comic universe. He comes with a Decepticon symbol for a face. Let's actually compare him first. Then let's look at the details. First we have him next to his leader, Megatron. He was a bit bright in the light. But there he is. Here he is next to Optimus Prime, uh, Voyager Op Siege Op Siege Voyager Optimus Prime. They scale pretty well. Here he is next to Leader Class Scourge, was slightly taller, and taller because of the shoulders as well. And here he is next to Transformers Legacy slash Legacy Evolution. Transmetal 2 Megatron, and as we can tell, he is a lot bigger. Well, let's get into accessories, or let's get into details. So he has this nice goal for the knees, no gaps throughout the figure. Gaps are on his feet, but that's it. He is basically gapless even under his arms and now you got your treads for the shoulders Decepticon symbol for a face a nice clean back and a peg right there that will be used later and let's get into accessories his accessories are right on his arm he's got this nice double fusion cannon which is the cannon that Megatron uses and they look very nice in their purple and they're translucent translucent purple I don't know if you can see that but yeah you can see that better now oh yeah he's also translucent don't know if you can see but he does have light piping You just have to get a direct source of light. And then you get his evil light piping. Then, let's get into his gimmicks with his fusion can. Or at least, it's supposed, the instructions state it to be here, but I put it up here because it looks more seamless. But let's show off the Evo Fusion gimmick he has. You rotate this turret thing back here, fold these down, plug this in, rotate the turrets, and boom! You got shoulder mounted cannons. And then, if you want, you can take the guns off. I'm just going to fold this down so it's out of sight for this. You can plug either gun into each other. But I'm going to do this like this. And you can rotate. You can give him his can this very long rifle. I'm 
and get them all evil looking down on the barrel. Oh, something I forgot to mention is his opening and closing hands. And he has these nice cloth fingers and cloth thumb. And that's basically it for the robot mode. Let me put the cannon back together and we'll get into vehicle mode. So first things first, you want to have these two little pegs facing towards this peg right here. And then you can set this off to the side. First thing I do, or at least they tell you to do, is fold down these things again. Then you, they tell you to rotate his arms up like he's putting his arms in the air, because he is. And then you want to untab this section from the back, rotate it, clip, unclip this from the front, spread this out, rotate it, rotate it, flip in the head, flip this up, rotate these, open up these cavities so you're ready, and then you want to tab the legs together after, or you tab the legs together, then there's this small, well, let me angle this down a little, there's this small little tab that plugs into a port in his rear, then you have this monster of creation, you flip his feet in so they're flat, then you flip these, then you gotta make it click. You make it click, and boom, you got that. You gotta make them click all the way back, but don't do, don't fold them in yet. You have to get the arms done, which is something I forgot. You flip these arm things. Make sure this is facing the back, then flip. The arm guard back uh, in the front. Make sure this cavity right here is facing towards this little tab in his leg. Do that. Rotate his hands so the f fist or palms are facing the bottom. Line these up. Use all those bending that you can get and bend it into fruition. Then you got that. Then you have this thing. Then you can fold these legs up and there's these four tabs. There's one here, 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 and here, which will tab into the... bottoms of the feet. Then you can move these back. Tab them in. They'll just slide in, fold these down, make sure these face straight, then take these, these two tabs, we'll fill these two slots, and there you have his alt mode. And it looks amazing. Now let's first straighten out his treads so they look more uniform and he slides well let's show off his blast effect compatibility let's bring in the arcs blast effects we're gonna take these two Plug them into here, into the front. Actually, we're going to plug them up here.
plug these up here or in the front and then boom you have him blasting any Autobot he sees now for comparisons after I remove these blast effects We're going to compare them next to 35th Anniversary Siege Mold Megatron, which has bigger cannon, but this man has two. And you can see how they scale. This guy compacts very neatly. Here he is compared to... Optimus Prime. And here he is compared to Scourge, which is a heck of a lot longer. <laughs> And just for one final bit, here he is compared to the robot mode of Transmetal 2 Megatron. And yeah, he is smaller than that dragon. But that's it, and that's all. And I'll see you in the next one.